Hi, crafty friends. Okay, guys, the next time you're at Hobby Lobby, don't skip the dollhouse section because they had this trim on sale. Two pieces come in a pack and I love that scalloped edge. So I'm like, oh, we could make a really cute sign out of this. So I had bought some of like the clings at um, uh, Dollar Tree. So that's what we're gonna use. But this chalkboard is from Dollar Tree. We're just gonna season it up just a little bit with some chalk. Once I do that, just wipe it clean. Um, that way, um, when we're gonna actually paint this, but when we're gonna see the underneath part because of those um, clings, you'll see what, what we're gonna do here, but then it won't be like that shiny chalkboard because we'll have seasoned it. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I think it does. All right, so once that's all done, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start cutting um, those little wooden scalloped pieces, and they're really thin, so the nice thing is I just clipped them right there with my little, um, I know these are like floral clippers or something. <laughs> I use them for everything everything but anyways once we get those clipped then I'm just going to hot glue those right into place I'm going to do the long sides and then I'm also going to do the short sides of it as well so I thought that would be cute and then the um, little clings say uh, dry and the other one says wash and I just think oh my gosh this would be so cute for the laundry room and I want it to look like when I saw that scalloped um, the little scallop things I thought oh you know how you see like the old school signs have all that really cool detailing edge and it's like the paint has like been rubbed off almost. Um, that's what we're going to do to this. Well, the edges, but then the center, we're going to do something different. So like I said, we're just going to paint right over the top of everything. And I did two coats. And then I made sure that I let it dry in between coats. And what we're going to do is once everything is all dried up, then we're going to remove those. Uh, look, I'm trying to get in all the little nooks and crannies. <laughs> it might have been easier, honestly, after I did this. Like, a, oh, I could probably could have painted the edges first, but ah, that's okay. We're, we're just winging it over here. Um, but anyways, um, once everything gets dried up once with well, all the, blah, blah, gosh, words are hard today, with all of the paint, then what we're going to do is we're going to remove that and then we'll have the words kind of popping through. This is where I'm talking about where we season the chalkboard so that it looked um, a little bit seasoned and not like it's a brand new chalkboard. But we're also going to do something we are going to, once we get all these pulled up, I used my sanding block around the edges and then we're going to use some of the distressing spray. I thought that would be a cool little addition to it as well. So once that's all done, we have a cute little sign. I just love the scalloped. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow the page for more crafts. Thanks so much.